Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Red 5 Reviews and today we are finally looking at the novelization to the game Star Wars The Force Unleashed. The novelization was written by Sean Williams and it was originally published in 2008 by Del Rey. Now I will let you know that there will be spoilers for this review as I will be going over some things that took place in the book that ne didn't necessarily happen in the game. So just want to give you a little heads up. But with that out of the way, Let's do this. Just like the video game, the story revolves around Darth Vader's secret apprentice who goes by the name Starkiller. Starkiller is sent by Vader to hunt and kill surviving Jedi, but he is eventually betrayed and seemingly killed by Vader once the Emperor discovers that Starkiller exists. Once it's revealed that he survived, Vader again sends Starkiller on another mission, but this time it's to form an army of those that oppose the Emperor's rule. I have already posted my review for Star Wars The Force Unleashed 1 and 2, so if you haven't already, I'll be sure to post links to those videos at the end of this video if you'd like to go check those out. But with that said, here are my thoughts. So I was actually surprised with this book. At first, I was expecting it to be almost 100% identical to the game, but there are a few differences and expanded moments to the story. In my experience with the Paper Movies Novelization Book Club podcast I'm a part of, there have been some occasions where I would recommend the novelization over the film itself. And honestly, this is one of those occasions, because I felt more engaged with this version of the story than I was playing the actual game. As for the differences, I won't give away everything, but I will share a few details. First off, the book better explains Starkiller receiving a new lightsaber. In the game, after he survives the attempt on his life by Vader, you get a holocron that gives you a blue crystal, and the game automatically changes to a blue crystal in the cutscenes. But in the book, he mostly uses a green lightsaber, and it was actually General Coda's lightsaber that he took after defeating him at the beginning of the story. I really liked that change, and I thought it was a more plausible choice. Also in the game, Starkiller's real name, Galen Merrick, was never revealed. Unless it was in the other versions or in the bonus levels. I only played it on Xbox 360. But in the book, his name was first revealed by the vision of his father on Kashyyyk. And his full name was revealed at the end of the story when the rebels searched through old archives. I always knew his name was Galen Merrick, but I never remembered where it was established. I always assumed it was in the novelization, and I'm glad that my assumption was correct. Several other differences include altered dialogue, some scenes were expanded, altered, or there were some new scenes entirely not featured in the game. And one part that I really appreciated was that although Starkiller was still powerful, he was not as powerful in the book. I remember reading how there were some moments where he struggled a bit, and the whole scene with the Star Destroyer still happened, but all I'll say on that is that it was done in a somewhat different manner. Now, do I recommend that you check out the novelization to The Force Unleashed? Yes, I do. I'm not going to say that this book is a masterpiece. As far as the pacing and the writing style, I'd say it's pretty straightforward, and there was hardly a dull moment. And despite its differences to the game, I definitely think you'll get more out of this story from the book. Now, don't get me wrong, the game can be enjoyable, and if you're only interested in the action aspect of the story, then you could probably skip this book and just focus on the game. But if you're wanting more from the story, then definitely check out this book. I'm going to give Star Wars The Force Unleashed by Sean Williams 3.5 out of 5 stars. But what do you guys think? Have you read this book or are you just sticking with the game? Either way, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'd be interested to check them out. Thanks so much for checking out this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new, then please consider hitting that subscribe button if you're enjoying my videos and would like to stay updated for more of my Star Wars content. And be sure to stay tuned for my review of the sequel novelization, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, also written by Sean Williams. That'll be coming out very soon. But until then, this is Red 5, standing by.